With the new 1.6 update releasing recently, I, and many others, began to play through the game again from the start. And although I love my husband and our child, after year 3, I began to get bored of the game again because I'd already explored a large majority of the new content, and I've already played through the base game several times before. The solution to this boredom, obviously, is to mod the game to a point where there is so much new stuff that I don't even know what's going on. And thus, this video was created. Before getting into anything else, I want to go over some of the mods we have installed. This mod pack includes around 46 mods, the most important including Stardew Valley Expanded, which adds 6 new marriage candidates, new areas, events, festivals, as well as some simple overhauls of base game things. It also includes a new farm type, Grandpa's Farm, that I chose for this playthrough. Ridgeside Village, a mod that is similar to Stardew Valley Expanded because it too adds new locations, events, festivals, overhauls, etc. There are over 20 new marriage candidates, some of them being unlockable through a quest or barrier. I have also included a few cosmetics mods, as well as mods that add more foods and recipes, and expansions on romanceable characters and marriage. I'll leave the full list of the mods in the description. As far as the game goes, my main goals for this playthrough are as follows. Be better than every farmer in the game. Trust me, there are a lot, and we have some high standards to reach. Have a beautiful farm, make a million gold, reach 10 hearts with Linus, the best character, and marry Lance, because I've never married him before. With that out of the way, we can get into spring of year one. Early game start, it was always pretty boring, and I didn't see a large amount of new content from the mods, so I'll go over what I did pretty quick so we can get into the fun stuff. I started with the usual, planting parsnips and the crops necessary for the community center, as I was making my way to Pierre's, I witnessed a new cutscene that revealed that the mayor of the nearby Ridgeside Village is Louis's older sister. Pretty cool. After that, I went on a bit of an exploration mission and met up with some new people, and of course greeted Linus. I went to bed at around 12am and my day one profits were... 110 gold. So sad. The rest of spring was dedicated to slowly building up some friendships, mining, fishing, cleaning up the farm, planting crops, and trying to maximize profits early game. There are a few interesting moments though, so I'll go over those. I chose the white cat at the beginning, so when she arrived at my door, I named her Cloud Catface. On that same day, I requested for a coop to be built on the farm. Then came the egg festival, where I lost the egg hunt to Vincent and Jazz. I'm totally still mad at those cheating twerps about it. On day 14 of spring, I spent most of the, the day exploring Ridgeside Village, the neighboring town. I want you guys to be able to get a good grasp of the layout over there, so I'm just going to show you the full fo footage of me exploring. He's going up with me, I guess. Jamino? There's a kiwi fruit in front of you. It moved? Shoot! Bah. Why would he do this? Question mark. What was that? Was that a Jimino? Yes, it was. Jum Junimo. Junimo. What was it doing here? Oh, let me just quirk up. Warning. Be secure your horse in the horse park. We don't want another Pegasus today. Lenny. Pegasus. I don't know if I like the sound of that. I'm gonna go down this way. What the freak? Some kind of crystal. Boink! Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm on the town now. Hi, Lenny. I'm gonna skip that, because I don't want to see it. Oh, interesting. I've never seen this before. Big bridge, I guess. For fishing? Pretty cool. Oh, what is it here? Pretty cute here. I 
only Carmen's friends can come in uninvited. I guess Carmen's a fisherman, then? Or a fisherwoman. Another one of those crystals. Who is this sizable man? Hi, Freddy. Is this Lola? Hello, Lola. So awesome. You guys live here? <laughs> Cute. Oh, they must have kids then. They got a rare crow back here? I'm gonna go through your trash can. They must be farmers though. Nightingale. Oh my gosh. You wanna hug this tree, but you're afraid people will judge you. Dang. I'm gonna have to outdo this guy. Is for me. I got some major competition, guys. For best farmer. I gotta outdo every single one of these people. The notebook filled with unfinished songs. Recipe for pancakes written by Olga. Who? They have cows and everything. I have to outdo these guys. A cow. No. No. Is that really a cow? Ooh, mountain arugula. Beak. I love stealing. Oh, hello. Is this still your farm? Hi, Olga. My name is Olga. Have you met Bert or Trini yet? That's my husband and our daughter. My niece Alyssa lives here with us as well. Are you Alyssa? Hello, farmer. Mmm. I'm faster. I'm stronger. I'm better. I'm better. I am better. Oh, they have a horsey. Hi, horsey. They have a bunch of horses. Hi, horses. Pretty awesome. Oh, this place is huge. They have a bunch of preserved jars, a bunch of mills. I'm gonna have to outdo these guys, chat. Gonna have to outdo them. It will be so over for them. Oh, this might. Wait, what was it? Water research facility and laboratory. Who works here? Oh, I think I know who works here. Mr. Aguar. Oh, that's the that's the freaking. I know who that is. Freaking. Yeah. It's like a spell scroll. Awesome. I like the way that the, that's connected. Okay, I should probably go up this way now. Wow. This is probably going to be the longest part of the video. Yoink. Okay, that doesn't look too good. You could have just done like that, but... It's an old car. Oh, this is a very small house. Who lives here? And Yo Jang Fei is really selling clothes inside. Clothes. Oh, so cute. You're not good enough friends with Fei to. A big house. Oh, who's that? Hello. Are you Faye? No, you're Irene. World renowned chef of the Amethnines. The Purple Mansion? Wow, I think I know where you live. Oh, I can't go in any of the houses. Why do you live there? You don't need all that space. And just next to this person. Oh! It's a cute girl. Hello. 
Hi, Floor. You want you want dandelion? I like this, thank you. You're welcome. Getting busy. Who lives here? Kobayashi residence. So awesome. Who lives here? Ridgeside Planet. I think I know who lives here. Oh, hello. Your new face. Hi, Sean. Let's hang sometime. I don't know. No, I don't think I will. Because you just said hang. Pickens residence. Maddie lives here. Oh. Shao, you must be new here? My name's Lorenzo. Come visit us, see? I don't think... Is Chow and C the same age? Oh. My bad. I should check what's in that general store. Ezekiel and Corrine live here. Hello, Kiara. Chow, you're the new farmer down in the valley. My name's Kiara. Let's hang sometime. You said hang, so let's not... Bad, dang. Just looking for stuff. All these judgy residents, man. Judgy, judgy, judgy. Can a man look through the trash? Oh, it's you. He's cute. I like him. I like his elf ears. I think the late farmer's grandchild has arrived to the valley. The spirits greet you, farmer. I am but a nameless traveler, but you refer to me as Geo. You can see the true shape of my ears? Are you mad? Interesting. Question mark emoji. Dot dot dot. Nothing. If you'll excuse me, I have to go. Oh. Okay, bye. So rude. What was that about? I don't freaking know. Let's walk down to the side thing. That's the rich side valley club money thing. Oh, I want that. But it's blocked off by this. But I want that. I want that. It's very hard to see. I'm sorry, guys. I can't make a torch either, and I don't even know if that helps. Oh, look, here's the thingy. Rich side monk's hood. Phew! Okay, I should go back now. And to go back, I need to go down and right. Hike trail, that's cool. Go all the way over there. I think I've seen most of the area. It's just as big as Stardew Valley if like it's a lot to explore. I feel like Stardew Valley has such short days it's hard to go see everything. You know, like when there's like expansions added on like this, it's very difficult. Oh, hello. I think I know you. You're the Ian guy. How's the farm? Up your butt. I'm very nice. Yeah, let me go home. What are you? Tenth robot. Pain. What's wrong with you, pal? Hey, I'm gonna leave then. Richside Village is definitely an interesting place with some interesting people and fruits. After my adventure to Ridgeside Village, I continued my mission of completing tedious tasks and built a barn. After a couple hours of grinding for money and skills, the flower dance was a much needed break, but I still had a whole lot of people to talk to. Oh my god. Everyone is here. That's a lot of people. Oops. This is a whole lot of people. Hi, Ian. They're my favorite fruit. I do not want you to be my dance partner, sorry. 
Oh, I'm not reading all this. I'm sensing Anton and Paula want to dance with each other. What if I asked you to dance? Dance is simple, but I think that's what make it, makes it fun. Mm, I'm not gonna ask you. Dang, looking good. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Kiara's attention seems to be on the flower dresses. Paula seems to be lost in thought. She's whispering to herself. Maybe I should ask him to dance? Should I? I should, right? This is giving me a migraine. For Richard. I'm thinking of asking Paula to dance. You know, for old times' sake. Excuse me, Kiara. Seeing everybody so happy is nice. Uh, gives the valley a boost of positive energy. Faye is mumbling to herself over a chocolate-covered strawberry. But sh would we really have to stick with white? Even an ikru or a pale beige would be would allow for a more balanced palette. Trini and Kia are having fun. Hey, hey. Aren't my dance moves cool? Those are- I'm really pretty, aren't I, Malcolm? I'm gonna be the flower queen someday. Yeah. World's most egotistical kid. Aria, how would one take in rejection from an invitation to dance? Does it feel like having a grade lower than a 93? Yeah, you're a nerd. I'm no ballerina, but I think I'll do Olga proud. At least I won't step on her toes. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. He really just wants to dance with me. I'm a bit shy about dancing in front of everyone. Everyone's gonna do it, but still, I'm really nervous. They should let Vincent be the flower queen if he wants to. I bet he'd be great at it. I remember dancing with my dad when I was younger. Oh well, that was then and this is now. Check out... He is... He... He... K-Eyes moves. <laughs> I'm so bad at pronouncing that. Are you going to ask someone to be your partner? Go for it. I don't know. Linus, can we be partners? Oh, hello there. It's nice of you to talk to me. Spring is almost over. What? Oh, what a shame. Oh, I freaking messed up there. Sigh. Love is in the air and I'm still single. Where's your, where's your, where's your pookie? He's right there. Marlon. Marnie looks lovely today. Okay, Riz. I'm just enjoying the scenery. Hee <laughs> hee. Alex, I, I couldn't handle Alex indefinitely. I'm practicing my dance move. It needs to be perfect. I've been flower queen for the queen for the past five years, and I'm not ready to step off the throne just yet. Yes. I found some leeks during our walk over here. This stuff is better than most of the food here. Nothing like nothing like an ale with a leek. Flowers? I can hardly see them. It's too bright out here. Look, yeah, there's the sun. I've been work working on these floral arrangements for a week. You like them? Yeah, I love them. Right? Someday, someday, I'm gonna be the flower queen. That's not fair. Why can't I be the flower queen? You can be the flower queen if you want to, pal. I really hate dancing in front of everyone. It's so embarrassing. Mom makes me do it. Ugh. Yes. That's all he has to say is ugh. You know, I admit it, I really like flowers. You're the only real one, Sam. You're a real one. Frog season is really starting to pick up. Sam? Now this is the life, huh, kid? Sweet wine, a bubbling brook, a babbling brook? Warm air, did I mention wine? Hey, you alcoholic shots. I'm here for the free cake. Yes. Strawberry jello, jello is truly remarkable. No, I do not want to do that, trust. Should have brought my fishing pole. I wore my best shirt for the dance. This sort of thing doesn't happen very often. I'm good, Elliot. Hi, Malcolm. Glad to see you here. I'm good. Oh my god, are you gonna be dancing today, Malcolm? Uh, probably. These springtime dances can be traced back to ancient fertility rituals. Hey, you should know about this stuff, Farmer. Locked. Ah, uh, the air smells so sweet with all these flowers. Gatherings such as this give me a great opportunity to talk to Caroline and Jody. 
Oh, I forgot you could. I forgot you could riz her. I wish Pierre would spend some time. Spend this time with the family. Whoa, I'm stuffed. Hey, have you tried the red jelly yet? I wonder if Emily would dance with me. She would not. <laughs> I like dancing, but this one is a little stilted. The old timers really love it, though. I'm good. I'm working up the courage to ask someone to dance with me. I'm nervous. Is why can't I ask Linus to dance with me? Life is unfair, y'all. Society did this. Uh, I don't think any of these things are really that worth it because I can just get them next year. Um, I think I. Oh my God, there's so many things. What? I don't think you're supposed to be here. Quartz is trying to eat the flower decorations. Do not. Shiro wants to dance. I don't think he should. Hey, Malcolm. The festival always gets me in such a good mood. It's hard to feel bad when everyone is so happy, you know. Philip seems distracted. Hmm? Oh, sorry. I can't figure out the part... I just can't figure it out if the part's of the dance or if he's limping. Jill. Despite all the movement and noise, the forest doesn't mind. Kiwi, watch. You're so awesome, Kiwi. Kiwi like dancing. Aw. Very sweet, Kiwi. Yes. Hold on, this motherfucker evil as hell. Yes, I came. Maddie indicated there would be food. I'm still a devil on the dance floor after all these years. Okay, well. The young Miss Amethine seems to want to play with the village kids. I think he just needs a little push. Your grandfather was quite fond of this festival. I remember he'd have his own way of asking a girl to dance. Not that he asked me or anything. And even if he did, I would have said no. Okay. Oh god, okay. I talked to everyone, apparently. My wife's name, Leilani, means heavenly flower. She'll always be the flower queen in my eyes. Very romantic. I'm sure the kid gets his charm from her. No girl here prettier than Corrine. I better not see anyone bothering her. Where's Corrine? I wanna know who Corrine is. Oh, this is Corrine. She's very nice. Oh my greatness. My great heavens. Okay, I think I talked to everyone. I think. I hope so. Well, should we start the dance now? Yes, let's start. The dance is going to be huge! I thought all the other NPCs were gonna dance too. Kinda sad. Beautiful. That was fun. Time to go home. Oh, yep, that's it. And before I knew it, spring was over. You didn't get to see all of what I did, so I did a quick recap of everything on day 28 of spring. First, we have the coop and barn constructed. No cows in the barn yet, but I'll get to that on the first day of summer. Next, I'm level five farming, three mining, four foraging, two fishing, and two combat. We've reached level 45 in the mines. And finally, friendships. I've reached three hearts with Linus, my closest friend in the valley, and two hearts with Haley. I have around one heart with everybody else. And now, summer is upon us. I was really excited on day one because summer is probably my favorite season in Stardew. Everything is so vibrant and the forageables are gorgeous and fun. I had to, of course, 
pull up to Pierre's to buy the essentials for summer. However, because I'm a numbskull, I didn't buy enough melon seeds, which down the line becomes a big problem for me. Future me is gonna hate this one. I went back to the farm to plant them all, and that was pretty much it for day one. On day three, we got introduced to a new character, Susan. She was trapped up at her farm next to the spa due to a rock slide, and she came to introduce herself after it was cleared. Later that same day, I got my newly upgraded copper axe and I was finally able to uncover the greenhouse and get some hardwood. The very next day, we are introduced to even more new characters in a very long cutscene that I end up skipping. Basically, they used to live here, but then they traveled the world or something and now they're back in the valley and there was a big union or whatever. Lame! The 11th marked the day of the luau, where there were over 40 people to talk to. That would probably make you fall asleep, so I'll just give you a quick overview. I pulled up with a gold star quality grape, which gave me the good rating. I talked to everyone, but I cared the most about Linus, because he's so awesome, and Geo, because he was going to sneak Kiwi some of the luau soup he wanted. Kiwi's so cute. I also got rizzed by Jarek, and his compliment made me like him a lot more. Other than that, I was pretty bored. After the luau, I got a pretty cute cutscene in Ridgeside Village. I was encouraged to play with Yunma. He told me about his tortoise friend and tried to get me to pet him. The tortoise's name is Torts, and he's actually a befriendable NPC. Sadly, Torts did not let me pet him. That's so not nice. The next day, we were met with the new summer event, Green Rain. It's guaranteed to happen at least once every summer, and it brings cool new dialogue. The first thing I did was go to the bar to check on everyone. Are you alright? We're all wondering what's going on. I brought in some medical supplies, just in case. Be careful out there. Thanks, Harvey. Much appreciated, pal. Squeeze me. Oh my god, there's so many people to talk to. Let's not get in a tizzy now, Gus. I propose a round of drinks to settle the nerves. You are an alcoholic. Get help. I don't think I've ever set foot put in this place. It's actually kind of cozy. Oh no, I'm not worried about the rain. I'm sure it'll pass. It's situations like this where a person's true character is put to the test. I'll keep M. I mean, I keep every- every one- Oh my god. I'll keep M. I mean, I'll keep everyone safe from the toxic rain. She doesn't need you, pal. There must be a meaning behind this. Nature is trying to tell us something. What, though? I can't tell. It's hard to read. I feel a strong presence, though. Yoba has come for us, former. <laughs> Make peace with yourself now if you haven't already. It's almost as if Mother Nature is trying out a new recipe. I'm completely bewildered. I hope my crops can weather this strange rain. Vro said Ro Yoba is coming from us. Alex is probably with his grandparents. I should probably go check on Ridgeside Village too, but I don't know if it's raining. Hey Alex, what's going on out there? Any action? I gotta stay here with my grandparents. George, dear, is this the end? It's been a good life, but I'd like to see Alex find his way before departing. There, there, honey. Don't you worry. Even if it is poisonous, I breathed in more noxious gas in one minute back in the coal mines, and I'm still kicking. Yeah, I'll be okay, pal. Don't worry. Um... I don't know who else to check on. I do gotta go see Demetrius. And... Because I know he's acting up, and he's bothering Robin, probably. Oh, in line, if I gotta check on line, Let's see what he says, of course. He's decked out! <laughs> Don't mind me, Malcolm. I'm just collecting some samples. This may be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Erm, um, if you see my wife, can you tell I'm okay? You are a failure as a husband, Demetrius. You are a failure. I think they're all hiding them to be smooth. Hey, bro. I wanna go visit- I wanna go collect samples with my dad. But my mom is insisting we stay here. Yeah, because you don't know what's happening? My mom's freaking out, but I'm actually kind of enjoying this. I bet the frogs are going wild out there. I'm gonna st stay here to try and keep her calm, though. 
You aren't as much of a failure as Demetrius, but you're still a failure. That man is insane. Why does he have to go out there? He has no idea if the rain is dangerous. Um, I don't know. Demetrius literally, like, he could die and leave his family all alone to survive in, like, a potential to toxic wasteland, but he's still like, um, I would only need some samples right now. I would only need some samples. I would only need to get a sample of this. Hi, Linus. Oh god, there are trees everywhere. This is a great time to collect a bunch of fiber, though. Minus, don't kick stuff out of the way, though. All these strange trees will be gone tomorrow. It's one of the mysteries of nature. Intriguing. Mm, I will go to Ridgeside Village just to see what they have to say about this information. My farm looks pretty cool, though. What is wrong with you? Why are you Probably to spend all my energy just slicing it up. I don't think it takes any energy, though, so... We might be back. I do get... I have to check if the chickens are fed, though. Yeah, they're fed. Hey, guys. Hey, guy. Okay. That means the cows should be fed too, and I will pet them, but not right now. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's sweet bee. It looked weird for some reason. I thought it had like a weird swirly design. I thought it was like a new mush. I thought it was a mushroom. It looked like a purple mushroom, but um, with like swirls on the cap. Oh, it's still raining over here too. I can't. I can't resist these like big patches. I have to go slice at them. Plus, the moss is good for the um, deluxe bait. Everyone's just in their homes. I don't know if they have, like, um, dialogue or anything, but, like, if it's affecting over here, then it might. Everything in the house seems to have gone on the fritz. I'm so bored. Hey, Malcolm, want to play some card games with me? Okay, they do have dialogue for it. Work doesn't stop piling up during regular win, so I don't see why this is any different. Things still need to be done. Missy, I remember. Oh my god. I feel like I'm gonna do a lot of talking. <laughs> this is the first time I've talked, like, all day, because I'm a little sick. Me and Corrine came over to the hotel to hunt her down through this weather. What? You went out in this stuff? Either you're dumber than I thought, or braver than I thought. A little bit of both. I feel like my head's been buzzing all day. It's making it hard to focus on anything. I've never seen as many strange things as when I came to live here. Rolling kiwis, eccentric farmers, and now green rain. What's next? You're talking about me? What'd I do? Oof. I'm not sure how, but this weather is making a lot of the tech around town go on the fritz. I just hope it won't be permanent. No, don't. Don't worry. Hey, Belle. In all my years living in this valley, never have I seen a phenomenon quite like this rain. Mother Nature sure likes to keep her secrets close, doesn't she? Now let's just hope it doesn't scare all the way scare away all the hotel guests. I think you're good, pal. This isn't like one of those radioactive death rains that turns everything it touches into mutants, right? Ha, huh, that'd be silly, right? I don't think so. You've never seen this kind of thing in the city. Truly, the countryside is full of wonders. Y you see the green rain too, Malcolm. Then maybe it isn't a mass hallucination. Who's up here? Who is this? 
I've never seen this person before. Guest, what's the deal with the mysterious guy at the ridge? Rude. Okay, I don't think that the that guest has the special dialogue then. I didn't know that there were like little special guest NPCs. That's actually very interesting. I do need to come back here and explore like a couple more days. Like I need I need to rent one of those hotel rooms and stay here a couple days and see what uh, they say. There's a complete breakfast right there. Alex loves those. It's one of his loved foods. God, there are a lot of people. Kiara and Kiwi are all the way up there. I love going here. Hey, bro. Don't tell Lorenzo, but I stuck my hand out in the rain earlier. It was rather tingly. Bro, you are going to die. Malcolm, it's too dangerous to be outside right now. You can catch a lot worse than a cold. Now I'm gonna do my own thing. Hello? How do we get up? Where am I? Okay, I gotta go right and up. Ooh, trash. Ooh, weeds. Mushroom. Where's Kiwi? I want to see that little ball. Oh my god, there's so many. Okay, this is irresistible. I'm sorry. And look at the mixed flower seeds that we're getting. I love those. I'm really glad that they added the mixed flower seeds. Concerned Dave did a good job with that. It's very fun. I like planting them and see what I can get. <sighs> oh my god. Oh, what's that? Excuse me. Mountain Chico. You hang out with the kiwi a lot? Maybe we're all worrying about this green rain stuff too much. The mountain certainly doesn't seem to mind it. It's a mountain. How do you know? Did it tell you that? I know she's probably saying that the, the, the flora and the fauna aren't like re reacting a lot to it, but still, how, how do you know? Where's the kiwi? Oh, he must be over there. Oh, yep, he's right there. I can't get up there though. This was just sad. Bro spectating. They're so cute. I do like Geo. He's cool. And the Kiwi's adorable because he's just a little guy. Okay. After the green rain, some uneventful days pass, the trout derby comes, and at the end of it, I finally realized that I hadn't started the recording for around three hours after I went on a bathroom break. Very cool. I totally didn't almost cry about it. Thankfully, not much had happened. At all. I only got two golden tags in the trout derby, even after using all my energy. My reward was a tent kit and a quality sprinkler. The sprinkler should at least come in handy. For the days after, I chose not to participate anymore because it was painfully boring with my current fishing level and luck. I also had to show you guys the upgraded secret woods area that I unlocked after acquiring an iron axe. There's a lot of secrets in here that I didn't even cover yet because they require more time and money. As you can see, there's a ton of hardwood in here that makes getting upgrades in such way easier. Also, with Grandpa's farm, there's a handy shortcut that allows us to go straight to the woods through a passage. There's also a cool new forage growing in here in a little area over here. While I was there, I also decided to catch a wood skip for the bundle. On day 24, I noticed my mistake I had made earlier. I didn't plan enough melons. I only had four gold star melons, not enough to complete the quality bundle. So I'm going to have to spend a little extra time in spring of year two getting some gold parsnips. My last few days of summer were spent cleaning up the farm, fishing, and mining. Cleaning up on day 26 led me to find a cute little cave on the side of this hill that houses the teleporter. 
I thought this was an adorable addition, so I was really excited about it. I was focused on cleaning up the left side of the farm on day 27, and I found an interesting path that led me upwards. Upon clearing my way up, I discovered an iridium meteorite that blocked my path to a shed or farmhouse building. My pickaxe wasn't strong enough to break the meteorite, so I left that for another day. For day 28, I again want to do a little wrap up that helps you understand how far we are in the game. After, we can da cover the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. First, we've made over 100,000 gold in total so far. Now, skills. We are level 8 farming, 5 mining, 7 foraging, 6 fishing, and 4 combat. Next, we've gone down 73 levels in the mines. Finally, friendships. Our co closest friend is Linus with 5 hearts, then Floor, Haley, and Alex with 2 hearts. We have one or less hearts with everyone else in the valley. I messed around in the mines for the most of the rest of day 28, and then headed to the beach for the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. But oh my god, there are too many people to talk to. No. Okay, Caroline. These candles are romantic, aren't they? I guess. It never gets any less enchanting. Hold on to this memory, Mel. It's one of the most beautiful things you'll ever see. Why are you crying? I'll never get tired of this sight. Jellyfish aglow, Lola in the moonlight. It's enough to make an old, take an old man's breath away. Riz, I guess. Uh, I like this rug. And I do like this banner. Ee ee ee. Up here. Psst. Make sure to swing by the shop tomorrow to get your fall seeds. Thanks for the tip, pal. Like a pearl, you glow. You drift to and fro by chance. Your tentacles go with the Gulf Stream flow, and you dance. Goodbye, little jellyfish. Why is everyone crying? It gets prettier every year. Maybe Lewis will finally react. Relax for a second. I hope not. I hope he has the worst night of his life. Don't tell Gus, but I'm a little disappointed there's no buffet tonight. Okay, fat ass. Moonlight jellies. I wonder how they taste. I would never try it, of course. I'm watching. My poor husband always misses the jellyfish, but I'm happy as long as I'm beside him this night, even if he's out like a light. Hun, wake me up when they arrive. Are you gonna fall asleep standing up? I wonder how much longer we'll be able to have this festival. The seas get more polluted every year. For true. Eh, she used to love this. Well, that's over, I guess. Hope she's happy wherever she is right now. Okay trying to be mysterious. I love this day. I always feel like my anxieties and worries melt away for the night every time I see this beautiful scenery and ambi ambience. <laughs> That's a heavy load of people for an ancient wooden dock. I'll stay over here near the beach. Good, good, good call. I can't believe summer's over. It feel like it just started. I'm gonna take a picture of the jellies when they arrive. If these jellies don't show up in the next 10 minutes, I'm getting out of here, wasting my evening. Okay, be patient. Nobody wants to ha have you around anyways. Life is so easy for a jellyfish, just letting the waves carry you onward forever. Till you eat some plastic and die. I want to see the rare green jellyfish. I wonder if they're poisonous? Maybe I shouldn't push Sebastian in the water after all. Yeah, maybe don't. Such a rare and exciting thing. I thought I saw something moving there. Something big. Something dark. Just trying to scare you. You didn't get me, pal. Okay, blocked. On all socials. Hi, Ian. Jellyfish are lucky. They don't have to worry about money or work. They just float along. I wonder if jellyfish have families. No, they just spawn out of nowhere. They have no... The jellies were here a year ago, and they'll be back again a year from now. Nature is amazing. I hope there are babies this year. Good evening, Malcolm. The moonlight jellies are close. I already saw one glowing in the distance. Once we launch the candle boat, they'll come up to the docks and say hello. Most night fish would be scared of the light. These are strange ones. Ooh, my mouth is getting tired. There, I just saw something glow. Oh, it's gone. Jody freaking ruined it. Oh, it's floor. There's something about the sky and the oceans that captivate humans in the same otherworldly way. Both are extra breathtaking at night. 
Look out there at the endless sea. Deep water, all kinds of... Oh, deep underwater, all kinds of life forms are moving around in the dark. Eerie, isn't it? These moonlight jellies travel all here all the way from across the world. They were at the Fern Islands just a few months ago. The sky is clear tonight. A flawless backdrop of the moonlight for the jellies, wouldn't you say, Malcolm? Yeah, they're quite stunning. I wore my special shoes tonight. No one noticed. Yeah, because your special shoes look like shit. I mean, poop. I wonder if I should censor that. Uh, he said something about pollution. What a shame. We have no respect for nature anymore. And you're still smirking while you say it, so whatever. Oh my god, my mouth. Corrine dragged me out here. Why do you look so sad? Helen used to wa love watching these things. I'd forgotten. Okay, you're still crying. Hi, Malcolm. There's a bit of mystery in the air, don't you think? Every year, Papa gets lost in his own thoughts. I wonder what he's thinking about. Your mom, probably. Aren't they pretty? Yes, but what's the point of holding this event every year? It's always the same. Kill yourself, toddler. Nature is a beautiful thing to witness, isn't it, Mr. Malcolm? Every year the jellies come, and it's always marvelous. This exotic jellyfish show should be advertised a bit more. The valley is losing another opportunity to learn earn money, as always. Yeah, because just make profit off of nature, because it's all it's good for, clearly. <laughs> I can be back home studying! How about you could be back home shutting the hell up? I'm looking forward to seeing the jellyfish swim by tonight. Though, I wish I had someone to share this experience with. Okay. We've been married for decades, and I still get nervous before giving her a gift. Why is Bert fidgeting like that? What did he do? Blew up the toilet. This night gives me bittersweet memories. Oh well, I'm just happy I get to see such beautiful animales with me here. Mom always seemed uncertain about attending this festival. I think I know why, but I just want to spend such a beautiful night with her. The jellyfish are so pretty. I love watching them every night. Oh, you put on some eyeliner. You look very cute, Sophia. I'm awfully afraid of large bodies of water. I'll be here on the beach where it's safe. I remember seeing the jellies once as a little girl. Oh, how I jumped with joy when they arrived. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You just think I'm too old to enjoy something like this? Nobody said anything, but okay. That was long ago. I'm a lot less energetic now. If I weren't a human, I'd want to be a jellyfish. All the frills and fringe drifting in the ocean currents. I should either be asleep already or working on my research. But Mr. Aguar always insists on going, and I'm not going to make him walk back alone. What's wrong with half of you and not wanting to even be here? Just go home, then. Well, summer's over. To be honest, I'll be happy to say bye goodbye to those blasted mosquitoes. Linus! I'll just sneak up when the jellies arrive. I don't want to bother anyone. If anyone makes you feel like you're a bother, I will push them into the ocean. Bye, Linus. I want to talk to Geo now. And Kiwi. As the jellyfish move, so does the moonlight move with them. And power follows in their path. Hello, jelly friends! Kiwi, they love you. They told me that, personally. I can see just fine back here. <laughs> Hi, Jarek. Hey, Malcolm. Want to watch the jellyfish with me? Okay, let's watch. Hey, can you blame a guy for wanting to be surrounded by gorgeous things on all sides? Why are you so rizzy? What's up with you? He's been mewing. He's looks maxing here or something. These jellies make me think of my mommy and daddy. Maybe the jellies can take a message from me all the way to them. I really hope so. I just want them to know I still love them. Oh, you ma. Uh, they'll take the message. Trust. They, they know. They know what's up. You know? We're more like the jellies than you'd think. We like to stick together, like a family. And sometimes the current takes us down different paths. Ah, sorry about t talking your ear off about jellyfish yesterday. They're just fascinating. I did not talk to him yesterday, so I have no idea what he's talking about. They don't even have a central nervous system, but they're some of the most energy-efficient creatures in the ocean. Intriguing. Hello, torts. Stares in silence. Sorry for breaking your mewing streak, though. It's kind of cold, actually. I guess fall is right around the corner. Uh, Sebastian, I mean, freaking Demetrius and Robin leaving out Sebastian. As usual, yawn, it's past my bedtime. 
Hey, did you see that candle boat? I crafted it myself. The Moonlight Jelly. What a remarkable species. We're very lucky. Don't care. I don't care. Trees. I don't care to me, Trace. Hmm. I wonder what kind of jellyfish the Moonlight Jellies are. I bet the old doc would know. The blue guy? The brick? Jellyfish are so cool. Do you think I can catch one? I wouldn't recommend, but I do think they're cool, too. I'm not sleepy. Hmm. I'm gonna stay up and see the... Mugrating. I think she's trying to say migrating jellyfishes. Yeah, I believe you. Another batch of jellies gone with the tide. I proposed this on this day many summers ago. I'm not sure which glowed brighter that way. The w jellyfish or my dear wife's eyes. Mm, Riz. Staying up so late like this is worth it just to see the beautiful jellyfish. I hope I can stay awake. I'm glad there are some people that actually appreciate the jellyfish instead of being really annoying about it. Hello, young man. Ridgeside's rivers feed directly into the ocean. Perhaps it explains the Luna Luz. Mr. Aguar seems to be deeply absorbed in thought. Alright, bye. How did you find me back here? I thought I was well hidden. Perhaps you are blessed with the gift of clairvoyance. I'm here to observe the Lunaloos, or Moonlight Jellies, as you call them. They possess an unusually magical, unusually, unusually potent magical aura for an aquatic life form. Hey, don't be dissing on my aquatic life forms, man. They're very, they're magical, okay? Oh my god, there's still more people. Uh, okay. It's like the festival is giving Mother Nature a break from electricity. It's nice to unplug even just for a bit. For true. Looking into the empty ocean brings back memories from when I was working on a cruise ship. It's a bit eerie, isn't it? This beautiful scenery, it's breathtaking. It's like the ocean is performing for us. I wonder how they're doing back at home. Oh, I mean our trees and cows back home. Oh, what's that? I think the jellyfish are coming. Hey, I'm paying my respects to another bygone summer. Bye, Leah. Okay, I think that's everyone. I think I talked to everyone. Good grief. Okay. I really hope Andy left. Oh, he's still here. <sighs> Sometimes life ain't fair, guys. Life isn't fair. Okay. What do you think? Should I launch the boat now? Yes, I, I I approve of this message. Okay, um, let me see the jellies. Oh, Alex is with his grandparents. Oh, here they come! They're so cute! Boing! Here they are. The little, little jellyfish people. What are they exclamation pointing? Oh, the babies! Here come the babies. Jazz is very happy. Okay, the glow of summer has faded now, and the moonlight jellies carry on toward the great unknown. Five moonlight jellies. Okay, that's it for summer. Now it's time to go to sleep. Oh, I think I watched this already. I'm gonna, gonna put up this stuff. Boing. Baby kitty.
The departure of the Moon Knight jellies also marks the end of this video conveniently. I had a lot of fun with this playthrough so far, so let me know what you think. Before you go, I do have one thing to ask you. While I was really considering marrying Lance, I want to know what character you guys would like to see me pursue. Personally, I've narrowed it down to a few. Lance, obviously, Gio, Yisabel, and Sophia, just because she's my day one, ride or die. But I have already married her. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure to let me know what you think in the comments. Bye bye!